The hottest new thing in cupcakes are cupcake push pops in today's episode of When Creativity Knocks. Today's push pop is really going to be a lot of fun. We're going to do it in a Winnie the Pooh theme, kind of in honor of my grandson's first birthday, Charlie. A little shout out there. What you're going to do is use cake um, mix, just the box. And I did one in yellow cake and one in red velvet. And if you haven't learned this trick yet, you're going to um, put your cake mix in a Ziploc bag and cut off the corner. It does get a little messy. I'm sure some people are better at it than others. And what I'm using is the, um, this is a little mini cake pan. There's 24, Wilton makes this 24. Look how great that is. It just goes out and you're gonna fill up your pan. And um, it actually only takes about 13 minutes in the oven because it really doesn't say how long to cook mini cupcakes. And you'll do the same thing with your red, your red velvet cake as well. So go ahead and cook these up and we're gonna do our next step. Once you've taken the mini cupcakes out of the oven, let them cool off. You're gonna have to make a couple batches unless you have more than one cake pan. And then once they're cool, you're gonna use a two of the yellow cake and one of the red velvet. And very carefully with a nice serrated edge knife, cut off the tops of the cakes, just like that. Okay, you buy push pops, they're a little hard to find. Um, you can order them from our site. And they come um, and it looks like, do you remember when you had little, um, I think it was Flintstone ice cream push pops with ice cream and that's exactly what it does. It just goes up, you are gonna fill it up with the cake and as you eat it, you just push it up. And actually, I think you could just wash these and recycle them and keep using them for other parties. So now I'm going to show you how to assemble our little Winnie the Pooh. Now, I did use a jar. You could put some beans or rice or something just to hold um, this still for you so it's not flopping all around. So I'm going to drop the cake right inside, the first yellow cake, and then I'm going to put some frosting. I'm using kind of a big tip here. And the frosting is um, store-bought frosting in the can. This is combination of white frosting and chocolate frosting with um, some powdered sugar to stiffen it up a little bit. Now I'm gonna drop the red ca velvet cake in and just push it down a little bit. Look at those great layers that are starting to form. Here again, a little bit more frosting. And I'm gonna put the last one, but this one I'm gonna turn upside down so the bottom's facing up. I'm gonna push it like that. That's how easy it is. Then we're just gonna do a little decorating on the top and they'll be ready for the party. Here we go, some more frosting. For those with sweet tooth, this stuff is really good. And I'm just getting it down in there and you can see how it really helps by having it in the glass. Just a little bit there. And then I want it to be like Winnie the Pooh's next to, with his balloon, so I'm gonna pull out just the little suckers. And I took the wrappers off already, pushed it in, so he has his little red balloon. Oops, we need to add some little jimmies to that too, just to add a little bit more color. And then we're gonna add one of the little um, bear uh, cookies, just like that. And they're ready for the party. Now they do come with lids as well. So if you were transporting these, you probably would wanna put the sucker in just before you put them out for the party. Otherwise, they're ready to go, and the kids and the adults, of, alike will love these push pops. <laughs> 